Cars back from the shop, and they said it's all good to go. So we're ready for racing tomorrow. So tonight I am just prepping for the whole day tomorrow. Me and Gianna, my TL, are going racing autocross up at Pit Race. I am super excited, and I can't wait. I can't really wait. This is the first time I've ever really done this officially with my car. And let's be real, I've been like prepping and tuning this thing the whole time I've had it just for moments like this. And so I think it's gonna be really just a lot of fun, and I think she's gonna do well. Don't let the don't let the exterior parts like the like the bumper and then the fender over here and then the super high mileage of two hundred sixty six thousand scare anybody. All right, don't don't let that fool you. All right, she got some dash crack and stuff like that, but tell you what, that engine transmission they're fine. They are nice. So with that, she's clean on the exterior uh, except for some road dust right now, and then. Um, the fluids are really good. I'm going to put a little bit of more engine oil in it and a little more uh, coolant just in case. And then I think we're going to be really good. Um, other than that, yeah, I got one hang a lot of the crap out of the trunk. And so that's been a little, little wet back there. So I got to just leave that open, make sure that dries out actually. Let's see how it's doing right now. Oh, what, what the heck, yo? How is it didn't even rain? Oh come on, I don't understand. Alright, that's just stupid. Alright, we got some clogged drains, obviously, so another thing to take care of. We're just worried about the engine transmission. Keeping them alive, keep them safe, and keep me safe in the car also. So they said all the suspension and everything like that is good to go. Um, you know, it shouldn't be like nothing's gonna blow up or like, you know, break off in the middle of racing, so that's great. Uh, right now, I'm going to make my dinner, and then I'm going to let that cook, and come outside, do some work. You know, check out the oil, got all that going, and I got to fix my air intake. And I clean up all these panels. Don't worry, I was getting painted soon. You know, clean the interior. It's doing really nice, take all unnecessary things out. And then also, I found a leak in my trunk. You can still see it's a little wet here. It actually has a very musty new car smell. So, with that, i got to let this dry out figure where I was coming from. But other than that, he's getting ready to go fast on the track. All right, let's take a venture on in over here. And, uh, where is it? Yep, there it is, it broke again. Ah, yeah, it really broke, dang. It wasn't even on the weld, it was somewhere else. Sheesh. So I'm just gonna zip tie this all back in place because that's, that's all I got for right now. And welcome back to repairs with the GT Sam here, so. This is my, uh, yeah. So, we got going right here in the metal bracket, going to here to hold it, like from moving back and forth. And then come around the back here, hooked under there from hitting side to side on the bracket, then too. So, yeah, that's that's kind of about it. It's, uh, it's holding pretty good so far. She's ready to roll. We got oil topped off, coolant topped off, checked all the other things that we need to check. The air intake is actually back in place with zip ties that's all I can do for right now but we got all the tires all inflated up we got them all to our 40 psi they were actually all pretty low already I know this 40 is probably pretty pretty high already but for racing I think this would be good max is 51 so I don't definitely don't want to do that so that's the max that's the most they ever had before in life and so we come to the interior and here we are everything is cleaned. I got this leather cleaner on here. I got, I got all the, the other non-leather materials all cleaned up. Everything's vacuumed. Got the chairs all cleaned up as well. Got a little pol like kind of like polish them down then a little bit as well. And so, you know, we got some cracking just just a little bit, but she's hanging in there for 266,000 miles. I gotta go eat dinner, and then I gotta go get ready, and I gotta sleep really well tonight for everything happening tomorrow. You got is resting well, and we were on our way. So, catch you in the morning. Good morning. I'm here, I made some eggs. Get my eggs with the uh, hot sauce. Okay. It's gonna be a great day. It's 8.47, we're ready to go. This is it, here we are. I feel a little pathetic sitting behind the Viper GTS now, but I'm like a small medium fish in a large pond. But it's gonna be 
fun. Seconds. So that was complete garbage. But second time was 59. Oh boy. Early share of the time. First lap, I was like, where am I going? What are these cones even saying? So like, it takes a little time to get used to that. But then the last one was like between 56 and 58, I think. So not bad, not bad at all. So I think I get this down pat. So we're going to explore around here and get some water and get some food and uh, keep cranking here. we got to stay you know, fueled and hydrated. Whatever you are ready. Oh, right, let's do it. one yet. Oh, I just finished uh, auto crossing here today with my TL. It was a champ. We did it. Uh, she survived. That's why she's these thousand miles. I'm impressed. That was no problem. You know, we cranked, we cranked up the PSI and the tires, and she might get to spin the tires up. But even more exciting news is my friend that I found on Instagram, and now I see him live in person. Jason is him on YouTube, but in person, he's just named Jonah, and his Acura is amazing. And here he is, the man himself, Mr. the legend, finally get to meet him. Hello, guys. What's going on, man? How you doing? Good to officially meet you. Yeah. All right, so I've been admiring this TO for a long time, and like, it's definitely quite quite the winner here. It's uh, beautiful. He did so much work into it, spent so much time and money on it, and definitely like the magazine or something like that. So, I'd love to hear more about this. Tell us about it. Uh, okay, so what do you want me to start? Do you want me to do an overall, or you just want to... Uh, the important thing. Yeah, yeah, we might have to start with like front back. Front so we'll start like with bumper, work our way up to the engine, okay. and then start moving back in. All right, let's let's hear about this beast. So so this is actually if we're talking bumper. This is an aftermarket bumper uh, made by Grizzly Bear Performance. Yeah. Uh, this is the same company that makes the supercharger kits. Uh, the guy who runs the company. Okay. His name is Andy Grizina. Good guy. Uh, definitely check him out on his website. You go on my yeah. channel. Um, I, I shout his pro, uh, I shout his website out, and there's actually a video with him there. Nice. But obviously, this bumper shows the uh, the big old intercooler that you can see in the front. Right. Oh man, that's some custom work right there. And to, to pair with this bumper, I decided to make some my own like arrow kit. 
components. Yeah. Uh, this is a chassis mounted front splitter. Yeah. Uh, the splitter rods are actually, actually okay. it's coming loose a little bit. <laughs> All that crazy torque today, man. Um, the splitter rods are actually mounted to the bumper bar, so you can you can actually stand on this. If you look at my Instagram, actually, I'll show you right now. Go for it. So, ah. the weights on it, we're good. People, that's that's legit. That's official. Um, this was custom made by a 3 8 inch ABS. Uh, and then my canards were a quarter inch each. Uh, cut them to the shape you want using a cardboard first as a template, and then after that, take a heat gun and just bend it to where you want it to be. Yeah. Um, and I just use angle brackets and some uh, stainless steel hardware to hold it in place. Nice. So uh, that kind of wraps up the front. The, Love it. The, the whole car itself is actually wrapped in Avery Denison uh, gloss cloudy blue. And then the black accent and the carbon fibers, some of it's real, some of it's not. Okay. <laughs> um, the, the carbon fiber here on this piece of the trim for the front Grill is actually um, just a wrap. Yeah. And then this is black. Uh, this nice. this Rotrex um, logo was just 3D printed, and then I just painted it. Yeah, you're like a 3D like printing fanatic, I aren't do, you? Yeah, I do like the 3D print a lot. Yeah. Uh, the job I do, I do a lot of design. So. Oh, there you go. Um, when we move on to the engine bay. Yeah. Please um, do. There's a whole lot of things that I've done here. Yeah. Um, yeah you've done a lot. Obviously, the supercharger's down where the AC compressor used to be. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, and then I actually, I have the. <laughs> Hmm, I have the intake it. gold. There you go. Gold yeah, tape wrap. The gold wrap, yeah. Um, with the heat. And that's to help with the heat, correct? Yeah. And then to, to save some space and to give some more room for the engine to breathe, because the J Series engines are, are uh, known for a lot of heat soak. Right. So what I did was actually replace the OEM radiator with a half size Civic radiator. Half size? Whoa. And this is actually for the uh, Civic. This is a triple core. Yeah. Uh, and I'm running a, a, what is it, 1.3 bar. Um, Radiator cap, so I can it allows me to. Wow, you know, get I didn't. High I, didn't I honestly didn't think that would that would work at half size radiator. Yeah, well, I mean, as long as it keeps the car cool, right? Right. That's, that's crazy. Uh, this is a custom um, battery bracket that I make. Yeah, it's part of my. Uh, uh, you selling them soon? Yeah, newly formed LLC. Nice. This, uh, is, uh, this is legit, guys. Check it out. Nine VA. It's actually pronounced as Nineveh. Okay. My name is Jonah. So. Hey, ah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> nice. Um, and then uh, you obviously you have your intake with the blow off valve. This is uh -huh. another three D printed piece. This is a blow off valve oh, no whistle. Way. Okay. So it gives a nice shriek. Sweet. Whenever the, the yeah. air is getting released. I definitely hear it on the track. Uh, the the intake manifold is powder coated. Yes, it is. Um, prismatic powder. Sorry, prismatic powder is black frost. Yeah. This with is, a um, the, the burnt out. copper VHT is the the orange oh, VHT. Okay. Yeah, the orange that you see nice. There. Um, as far as that goes, I mean, there's not really much else in the engine. I mean, I, I, I have an EGR block off plate. Yep, right. Classic, um, classic. P2R gaskets to help with the heat. Oh, yeah, you got one here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the throttle body. Space and then there. one underneath the intake manifold. Okay. Um, everything else is just kind of painted. Yeah, no, it looks really clean. Even like like the manifolds down here and everything. Yeah, well, oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot. the. Uh, we're running uh, pre cat deletes as well. These are RBCs. Yeah, CDs. that's right. Yeah, so, so yeah. It helps yeah. the engine breathe a lot more. Of course. Um, and then, of course, if you pair that up with the uh, cat back exhaust and a J pipe like what you have. Right. The RB6. So, right now, this part has no cats. Um, and then we're running a Love pseudo it. cat back. There you go. And, uh, nice. Yeah, so that that kind of takes care of the engine. That's okay. Love it. That's uh, oh right. well. Hey, tell us the, the figures on it then. The engine. figures. Oh, okay, so I actually haven't got a dyno yet, but going with some the Honda data logs. And yeah. Virtual dyno. We're putting roughly around 440 the wheels. 440. Uh, 440 wheel horsepower. Yeah. And around 365. 365. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's Not bad. And it's very linear. The guy right. who tuned my car. Uh, his name's uh, Derek Robinson. Known for kind of flattening out that VTEC. Yeah. So that way you, you can't really even feel, or feel it. So is the VTEC always engaged then? Or? No, no, it's just he, okay. it kind of hides it. Yeah. Um, nice. Or I guess it smooths it out. Right, so right, it's not right. As so it's not sure. Rough. Yeah, it might come on quicker then too. Nice. As far as the wheels go, this is just uh, ESR R15s. They're, they're flow form version. Right. Uh, they weigh about like 20 some pounds. Yeah. And of course, this is the manual, so it has the Brembo calipers That's in there. Correct. Yes. It has so those, are, those are classic. Those are right there. And it, then I'm running uh, stop tech. Yeah. Brake pads and rotors. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I'm, my wheels are wrapped in Hankook RS4s. Nice. Uh, they're, they're, I don't know if they're comp our compounds, but they're very close to it. If, if that, the, the tread wears 200, so. 
Yeah. Uh, luckily, I don't daily this car, so nope. I'm not burning through tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right. We keep moving further along. Um, these are depot side markers. You can get these off of eBay or off of uh, Unique Style Racing. There you go. Uh, Easy enough. The stock ones. I think actually you. Yeah, mine are actually. Uh, those, are, those, are... those are custom. Okay. They were stock, and then they burnt out, and so I have my engineering friend just uh, like go. slapping some uh, LEDs into there and Perfect. just yeah solder yeah. them up. You know, everything like that. Um, side mirrors. This is a custom yeah. plate for the side mirrors to mount the Universal APR. This is awesome. Uh, carbon fiber mirrors. So yeah. These are lightweight, probably. Definitely really good here. I don't even know. This this whole assembly maybe weighs about three pounds. Right. Maybe less than that. So look at this. So so small. And I and I have used a 3D scanner to get all the the complex curvature of the car to match it. Yeah. And uh, it, it really actually looks pretty good in my opinion. Yeah. No, it does. It's definitely a different size, but no, it works oh, great. Yeah. Works great. Um, uh, moving further back. Same about wheels the same, in the back, the same. obviously, and yep. uh, depot side marker over here. Yeah. Uh, this is a newly added modification. Oh, yeah. These are the NSX style tail lights. These are the, like the talked about headlights. Yeah, these are high demand yep. right now. They um, are. They're a little dim, but they look great. Right. That's what I've been. That's what we hear. All right. And if we go to the trunk, this uh, this is a endless RPM uh, duck lip style spoiler. Yeah. yeah. It's not overbearing. It's actually like tasteful. Yeah. Uh, really good. This is actually fiberglass, and I just wrapped it in carbon fiber. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> and Perfect. then some more accent for carbon fiber, which is some wrap right yeah. over here. Um, this is a custom diffuser that uh -huh. I made as well. Um, there you go. That's it awesome. It helps too. really well with the exhaust tips, but yeah, it's kind of dark. You can't really see it. That's all right. No, it looks really good. It looks really like aggressive and everything like that. <laughs> Thank you. We can go into the interior. Just okay, all right. Show you. I don't know if you can see. Right, uh, we have a off-brand K2 billet shifter paired with a, um, what is it? We are likewise Daytona Pro 1.1 pound shifter. Okay. Weighted shifter. Shift knob, sorry. Um, and that just, it feels really crisp. You pair that with yeah. the um, shifter cable bushings. There's some harder ones, there's some stiffer ones, and that gives a really nice uh, shifting. Yeah, exactly. These are Corvo RRX. Um, Racing reclining seats. <laughs> racing reclining they, people. I think that's what they're called. Look, racing. look, it's got it's got the nice bolster here, and it's got the leather, right, and yeah. it's got the cushion. And then Ooh, I have the uh, belt, man. This five point slick. harness. This is Cipher Auto. Yeah. Harness. And of course. Oh, good. You have the original seat belts. Still. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, unfortunately, the five point harnesses aren't DOT approved. Uh, the only company that hasn't DOT approved is Schroth. Okay. Um, and obviously, Schroth's really expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's funny. You pair that up with the. Harness bar in the back, the, the orange bar that you can see back there. Yeah, check this um, thing out. So that way, you know, you're nice and snug with the five point harness. Yeah, you're and not going anywhere. I don't know if you can tell, but I, I deleted the rear seats. Yep, there they are. There they will, then they're, they're, they're not are. <laughs> they, yeah, they, uh, that's actually just pink insulation board wrapped in felt. Yeah. So. That's fantastic. That's there. Um, if we go on the driver's side. All right, let's go around. Mine was just strapped into a tripod with bungee cords in my seat next to me. Whatever works, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you look in here, like, there, there's shield plates that I make also. Oh, I, yeah, I saw those is. as well. That's uh, awesome. It really helps with, one, protecting your your uh, OEM floor mats. Right. And two, just it, it gives you more of a planted feel. That's so uh, cool. Your heel is really locked in place with that grip. Right. The grip pad. I really like that. Uh, yeah, that real stuff. Did you like 3, 3D print it again or? What's that? Is that 3D printed too? No, no, that's actually a sheet of aluminum. Uh, oh, eight okay. Inch ah. And I had a local shop make them for me. Got it. And then uh, very good, very good. Same kind of seat. Is the front adjustable yeah, here? It is adjustable. You can you can slide it forward. And you oh, can okay. Recline it back and forth. Sweet man, those are fancy seats. They are. I like nice. those. You can get them for about like 900, I think. About 900 both or one for both. That's pretty darn good. Pretty affordable. That is really affordable, actually. Uh, wow. The gauge pods, 3D printed as well. Those are custom made for these. the AEM X series. Oh, no way. Gauges. Uh, these, those I, I actually things. sell as well. Huh. That's great. Yeah. So Man, I do a lot of custom heck? stuff and fun things. Yeah, yeah. Them. He does definitely a lot of custom stuff. This whole thing is just <laughs> really customized like crazy. Love it. What else do we have but here? I mean, that's pretty much wraps up the car aside from getting into like... Well, now you mentioned a wrap. 
Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> your car is wrapped in this beautiful wrap uh, job you did by yourself again. Yes. And uh, what's it called again? The color? Uh, it's gloss clash blue. Yeah. Brand Avery Denison. Yeah. So they take a look at this. It like has just like a whole different look about it, like kind of like in the shadows and then the, yeah, the actual the sun. Lights a little bit dim. It's it's light blue. Right. When the sun hits it directly, it's white. Yeah. It's it's definitely like a super bright and, uh, and white. It's actually kind of funny because I got pulled over. Because it was too bright? For, well, no, because I, <laughs> I was supposed to be speeding. Oh. But they, they just gave me a warning instead, but he said, in the ticket it said white. And I said, I should, I should fight it, because it's actually <laughs> light blue. Right, right. <laughs> that'd be good, that'd be good. Well, there we have it. This is a fantastic example of a customization for an Acura TL and what you can do with it. If you're cranking out this kind of power on an original like stock uh, manual 04, and then now he's doing all this, this is amazing. Well, obviously that ending didn't go as planned with all the horrific wind noise. It just completely made the last part of the video just trash and there was no way of recovering it. And the rest of the video in the beginning and stuff like that, I was able to work on it, edit it, make it sound pretty decent. But at the end there, could hear absolutely nothing. I just couldn't save it. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But Jonah, you got a great Acura there. It's a real piece of art. And just keep up with the great work on that. Guys, if you like that a car of his, leave a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment. Also, I have his stuff linked down in the, in the description of the video as well. For his page, he's got so much work going on. He's got his own like shop he's making stuff for, like fabricating for the car. And he's got a great Instagram, so go follow along. I also have linked down in the description below my video for my last lap of the day. It was the best one, most exciting one. So go check that out as well. Tell me what you think of it. Also, if you feel like, leave a thumbs up on that video too. That really helped out a lot. All in all, fantastic day. I love meeting everybody. I love taking my old Acura out on the track and just ripping around. It was adrenaline rush. It was amazing. This car, 267,000 miles. Come on. This is great. Acura, you got the good stuff. And it's still cranking. See, if you take care of your vehicles, they will last you. Same engine, same transmission in this beast from when it was new. And I've been keeping up with the maintenance for ever since I've owned it. So, it's doing great. Alright guys, it was a busy few days getting the car ready and everything like that, but what did you think of this video? If you guys like it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up for me and also hit the subscribe button as well. Leave some comments down below. Love to have a conversation of any type down there pertaining to this video. But for now guys, this is GT Sam and I'll catch you next time.